Hey everyone, welcome back to Windows Fixer, your go-to channel for PC optimization, error fixing, and clean solutions. Hope you're all doing good. So yeah, recently I got a strike on the channel, not gonna lie, I don't wanna get too deep into that, but we're back now, and that's what matters. Now let's talk about today's topic, fixing that annoying Windows 11 issue where you open the start menu, try to search something, and it just keeps loading forever. No results, just stuck. One of my friends actually covered this issue in great detail on her channel, Explodey FPS, and she really nailed it. But I know not everyone wants to dig through a long video, so today I'm going to break down the key fixes for you in a simpler way. These are the same methods I personally tried, and they worked for most cases, especially after some recent updates that messed up the search functionality for a lot of people. Alright, let's get straight into it. Alright, so let's start with the first method, tweaking the registry settings. This is safe as long as you follow the steps carefully, and it's super effective for disabling Bing search integration, which is often the main reason behind the stuck loading issue. First, press the Windows key and type regedit. Or if your search isn't working at all, just press Windows plus R on your keyboard to open the run box, then type regedit and hit enter. Once you're inside the registry editor, navigate through the folders in this exact order. Start from HKY current user, then go into software. Scroll down and open Microsoft. Then look for Windows, expand current version, and finally open the search folder. Now in the right panel, look for a value called Bing Search Enabled. If it's already there, double click it and make sure the value data is set to zero. But if it's missing, don't worry, you can create it manually. Just right click on any empty space on the right side, choose new, then select door 32 bit value. Now name it exactly Bing Search Enabled. Make sure the spelling and capitalization are correct with capital B, capital S, and capital E. After that, double click on it and set the value to zero, then hit OK. Right below that, also check if you see a value called Cortana Consent. If it's there, double click on it and also set its value to zero. If it's not there, you can skip it. This one just disables Cortana from interfering with your search function, which can help in some cases. Once you're done, close everything and restart your PC. After the restart, check your start menu search again. You'll notice it's much faster and actually working this time. Now let's go for the second method, and this one's a bit quicker. We'll be disabling Bing search using Group Policy Editor, but keep in mind, this works only for Windows 11 Pro or above. If you're on Home Edition, don't worry, I'll mention an alternative. So press Windows and R to open run again, then type gpedit.msc and press enter. Now, inside local group policy editor, go through this path slowly. First, open computer configuration, then expand administrative templates, then go to Windows components, scroll down and open search. Here, you'll find a setting called do not allow web search, double click on it, choose enabled and hit apply. Right below that, you'll also see don't search the web or display web results in search. Open it, set to enabled, then apply and OK again. Doing this tells Windows to stop mixing your local search with web search results, which not only fixes the stuck loading issue, but also makes your search results snappier and more relevant. Once done, again, just restart your PC and try searching from the start menu. If everything's done right, the delay or stuck state should be gone. If you're on Home Edition and don't have Group Policy Editor, don't worry. Just stick to the registry method we covered earlier. That should be enough in most cases. And yeah, if none of these help or you're still seeing weird behavior, I highly recommend checking out the full detailed video on Explodey FPS. The link is in the description. That video includes extra solutions like rebuilding the index, restarting search services, and more in-depth stuff that I didn't cover here. So yeah, that's pretty much it for today's quick guide. If it helped, leave a like, drop a comment if you're still facing issues, and subscribe if you want more straight-to-the-point Windows fixes. See you in the next one. Stay sharp and keep your system clean.